set up his cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have it back. Well done, Corporal. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen T. Martin to be high overseer. Let us all raise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. That you're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. What are you thinking, Corvo? I could use a drink. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste for King Street brandy is legendary. I think Piero has a bottle. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I realize, well, everything you're thinking I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be one.
emergency grain rations will be available in the civil services. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. I can't believe this. When I took this job, they told me I'd work with good men. Ugh, I feel dirtier than when I started. If you don't mind, obviously I'd like to be alone. Did I faint or something? I understand your decision to tell Callisto. Far be it from me to criticize a man who so will. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you. She still makes a striking portrait, but I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. 
Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old madam Prudence of the old lady. I understand your decision to tell Callista. Far be it from me to criticize a man of your will. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets it blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party.
the doom of Pandesia has come to the city. Invitation, oh, please. Last year, Waverly threw a guard and we slipped in after the Esther Munster. I can't canceled. let you in without oh, an invitation. It's no wind and Great so orders. forth. Do you know about tonight's game? Oh, there went my invitation. Pendleton? Is that you? to be brilliant it's invitation be please expressively tired if you're not going to have fun maybe you should go home i'll struggle on once we locate the wine harold takes pride right this in being way difficult sir. as much as you take in being easy shall we go in emma insisted we need her out by the curb well i'm going to catch plague and die waiting out here i'm sure she'd like that why don't you wait here as any gentleman and we'll go inside and make Look at that mask. Sick bastard. Another party game. You have to feel it was fun for a season, but now? What is it tonight? Yes, which is which. Their hair and makeup are identical. But what's in there? What's in there? 
Coldridge Prison. The City Watch is everywhere tonight. But at least you're thinking. There must be another way. Waverly likes to be. Oh my, that's wicked. Is that mask for you? It's exactly. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up. And let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. One. Another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estramons pay top coin. Never doubt it. Hello. Ethel. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a moth thief. Of course I don't mean you. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. I trust you're behaving yourself. You, a gentleman? I'll have you know it. Go ahead, help yourself. I take everything I can carry. They'll never miss it. You there, stop that! Something caused this. It's not the excuse me. Enjoying yourself? No guests past this point.
Enjoying yourself. Enjoying yourself.
Don't be silly. The rumors say the royal sacrifice. Get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich. Excuse me. Oh, leave him be. It's a party. This Doing is a right private now. conversation. It's a party. It's called mingling. Mingle all you want, then. We'll speak later. I'll find you. Good evening. against the Lord Regent. You He's remember the only that. one holding this together. Is it true that more bone charms have been taken Some from the apostates since the plague started? Now, now. Unchaperoned? Hmm. You promise to behave yourself. We'll go to the music room. We have an exquisite old harpsichord. Do you play? Things have become so much better for us since the rats came. Not that I'm in favor of it, morally. Welcome to the Boyle You enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> 